YouTube! Welcome back to my random thoughts on Thursdays. And this will be the final video that I will do talking about my wedding and wedding reception. Alright, so if you tuned in to my last vlog, uh, you knew that I was basically two days away from my wedding reception. And this is basically an update of what happened, and um, I will be inserting some uh, video footage that I took while um, we were doing the reception. Uh, but basically, the reception went really well. It was a really fun day, um, had lots of family and friends surrounding us, and, and everything was really great. So let me just kind of walk through um, what I did that day and, and everything that was going on. And unfortunately, I didn't film a lot of it uh, just because there was just too much going on and I just, just didn't have time and didn't think of it all the time. Um, I'm still fairly new to vlogging, so I just I don't run around with my camera in my hand 24/7 like some vloggers do. So maybe uh, maybe I'll change that someday, but not not yet. <laughs> anyway, so the day started off pretty normal. Um, I knew that I had to get to the nail salon to get my nail and uh, my manicure and pedicure done. Um, be two hours before uh, my uh, hair appointment was. So I had to be at the nail salon by 11 a.m. and then uh, to the nail salon by one, uh, by the hair salon by one. Uh, so I did all of that. So I got myself pampered and um, I don't have the nails anymore, but I had basically a French tip with gold sparkles instead of the white tip um, is what I did. And um, just got just gold toenails um, since I have gold sparkles in my dress, and you'll see that in a minute with uh, with some of the videos. And then I went to the hairdresser and had my hair done. Um, I am going to be showing a couple of different photos and videos and things. And the professional photography that I had done um, a couple weeks before the reception, um, I had my hair done up in kind of a tight twist in the back with my uh, sort of hair decorative piece uh, lining the edge of that in the back and uh, it ended up being a good thing that I did that for that day because it was a really bad rainy day and um, my husband and I had to run through torrential rains to get from where we parked to the lobby of the kind of art deco -y hotel where we took our photos and um, thankfully my hair wasn't ruined because I had it in this really well hairsprayed tight um, setting but uh, ultimately ended up deciding not to do it the same way for the reception itself I wanted something a little more feminine a little looser and so instead I kinda had it piled up in in curls in the back up here uh, with some loose curls uh, coming down and then having that decorative piece almost like a tiara at the top uh, which you'll see in a moment and I think that worked out really well too. I think both hairstyles looked really, really good. Uh, my husband just wasn't thrilled with the other one. And after about an hour or two, because it was so tight, um, it really started to hurt. Um, and I was really happy that it only took about an hour to do the photos so I could just take it all apart. Um, so anyway, so that uh, is what I did initially on the day of the reception. Then I had to go home and meet my husband and gather up, uh, excuse me, my dress, his, sh uh, his suit, um, all our suitcases since we were staying the night at the hotel, and just kind of getting everything like that. And if you're wondering about what happened to the pets, um, the cats were fine for one night at, um, overnight. They had food and water and everything. And um, the dogs, we actually, the day before, took them to the pets hotel and um, they boarded for two nights at the pets hotel. That way we did not have to worry about them the day of the reception or immediately the day after because we knew we were going to be tired and and everything so we didn't actually pick them up until uh, near the end of the day Sunday just before the pets hotel closed for the weekend so anyway so the, the pets were fine uh, but then we had to rush off and we were actually running a little late we were going to try and check into the hotel at 3 and we didn't get there until almost 3.15, so my husband was actually also running late for his spa appointment. Uh, he ended up getting a massage at the spa at the hotel. Uh, he, I needed to get him out of my hair so I could get ready, and knowing, you know, because of family and just everything going on, he'd be a little nervous anyway, so I was like, you know what, honey, you go get a massage. And then I actually had 
um, a little pre-party in my hotel room, so which was a lot of fun. I had uh, family and friends, um, ladies only, join me. Uh, my sisters were there and they helped lace me into my dress and uh, took lots of photos and watched me put my makeup on and uh, we shared a couple of bottles of champagne and we had some cheese and crackers and things to snack on and it was just a really lovely couple of hours uh, as they helped me get ready and, and we visited and had a chance to talk and things because I knew I wouldn't really have as much time to talk to everyone at the reception as I wanted to so it was nice to have some of those ladies uh, come and join me uh, for that and then when it was just before it was time, it was, like, it was 20, 10 minutes before the reception actually started, which started at 5.30, um, is when I headed downstairs with one of my friends. Everyone else had left to go get ready themselves and get their hair and makeup done. And then she and I went downstairs, and I hadn't seen my husband yet. I was like, okay, he should have been done with his massage like 20 minutes ago. Um, so I went to the spot. He was actually still uh, enjoying the steam room and the hot tub, so um, I had to have them uh, kind of remind him to get ready. Uh, but then we went uh, into the reception hall, and um, I had to go and make sure that I hooked up my iPod because that was going to be the music for the evening. And my my friend uh, helped me kind of be the DJ in terms of switching between the playlists that I had put together. So I had all the playlists already. We had um, an hour. Um, a cocktail hour, uh, the first hour of the reception, so it was chef's choice with cocktail snacks and um, just an open, uh, not an open bar, sorry, a cash bar. We couldn't afford an open bar, so we did a cash bar. And um, so everyone kind of came in and uh, the way we did it, because we didn't want to do formal seating arrangements, uh, was to just have everyone's place card and they just pick their place card up and then just took it to wherever they were sitting. And the only reason we even needed place cards was so that the wait staff would know what food uh, to serve each person. Uh, it would be written on their place cards. So that was, I'm sure, uh, helpful to the wait staff. And so we had had folks come in and they signed the guest book and I tried to greet everyone as they came in. Um, we had, uh, I had Vivaldi uh, for the initial music uh, for that cocktail hour, I figured. Uh, some nice classical music to kind of start off the evening would be nice. And then uh, when that was all over with, we all kind of sat down and we started the dinner. There was a, a plated dinner and we had the two main courses that we chose. One was a prime rib and one was a crab stuffed salmon with some nice veggies and um, I think there was some wild rice on the side and uh, wild rice for the salmon and potatoes for the uh, prime rib and they did a wonderful job with the food the food was absolutely amazing everyone raved about it um, we did have a f uh, about six people who attended who were vegan or preferred a vegan meal and so um, I didn't have a chance to sample that one and I asked like all the vegan people like how did you like it and everyone loved the vegan food too so I'm, I was very happy that that came out um, and uh, then the evening progressed and we had uh, a lovely toast by my husband's brother and uh, and then Dave and I also uh, said a few words uh, and I will uh, go ahead and put that footage right here all right, well, they told me to say a few words. Like they told me to keep it short. <laughs> that was pretty good for me, so. Married. No, Married. <laughs> That's here today. Love. True love. No, so, uh, for his whole life, Dave talked about how, we'd, how he would never get married. <laughs> well, those days are gone. Um, at some point, he even questioned why anyone would ever think of getting married. <laughs> After he met Gabby, uh, his stance towards marriage started to soften and change. Uh, Gabby had that special magic that showed him the light. Uh, sometimes it just takes the right person to come along with whom you uh, can share your whole life with. Here's to a long and happy marriage. Congratulations. And I actually want to say just a few words, and I just want to say thank you to everyone who was able to make it today, and also for those that I invited that couldn't make it today, but um, they're in my thoughts anyway. 
And uh, each and every one of you is special to Dave and myself for many different reasons, and we just appreciate sharing our special day with all of you. So thank you very much for coming. Yeah. I'm here because I like to hear myself talk. So, uh... Are you <laughs> so I should maybe say a, a word or two about how Gabby and I met and uh, met again and again and again and uh, she gave me the hardest time and pretty much uh, would not let me go and eventually I gave in and that was probably the greatest choice of my life. So, here's to Gabby. <laughs> I loved what Dave's brother had to say. Uh, he was, it was short and to the point, but it was very, it was very lovely and I really appreciated it. And I asked him to, uh, to kind of give the toast. So, uh, because if we had had a formal ceremony, which we didn't, he would have been uh, my husband's best man. Um, no, no doubt about it. So I felt it would be appropriate for him to give the toast. And then I just kind of felt like I needed to say a few words and, and thank everyone for, for coming. And then, um, you know, everyone just kind of looked at Dave and like, okay, okay, I have to say something too. And, and he did. So that was kind of lovely. And then we, we had some fun, um, cutting the cake. So, um, first of all, I will just kind of insert a, a picture of the cake here and you can see that they tr the, the, the cake de decorator kind of took her inspiration for the cake design based off of my dress. So, um, I kind of have these, um, glittery branching patterns on my dress and then I have that sort of, um, I don't know if you want to call it a uh, bunch to, uh, satin waistline and so that's kind of where the the cake design comes from and then of course the uh the, the little blue jeans cake topper that i i showed with the last video because that really does kind of exemplify who my husband and i are we are blue jeans people through and through i mean you can't see it now but i'm sitting here in blue jeans i'm i'm in blue jeans and and kind of t-shirty things um, almost all the time and if my hair isn't down it's up in a ponytail so that cake topper is just it's us it really is us um, and so that was that was fun and then uh, we had had fun uh, and we were just gonna go and cut the cake and then everyone screamed stop wait because they wanted to take photos of us cutting the cake and feeding each other the cake so we we were kind of uh, strong armed into into doing the traditional like holding each other's hands and cutting the cake and everything which was kind of fun um, and then uh, with that um, after we did that the uh, the staff took the cake back into the back room and cut it up um, and served it along with the coffee service for the evening uh, which was which was really nice uh, I, I I love having cake and coffee um, after dinner I mean I very often don't have dessert. I, I try not to eat a lot of dessert. Um, it probably looks like I eat more than I should, but I really don't eat that much dessert. But um, if I'm going to have dessert, I like, a, I like a nice cup of coffee with it. So I was glad that a coffee service was included uh, with the package that we got. And then once all of that was done, it was time to dance. And of course, uh, I did um, wrangle my husband into doing a first dance with me. And, and that was really fun, and uh, and, and you, you're probably watching it right now. And then after that, I um, did a dance with my uncle, since uh, he was sort of the central kind of male figure in my life since I was a child. Um, I never knew my dad. Um, I don't know if you're, you know, if you're, if you're watching this from uh, having seen my, my earlier videos or not, but um, I, I actually just never had a chance to meet my father, and he passed away before I'd had a chance to, to find him after I grew up. And so my uncle, who was my, my mom's brother, uh, was sort of the, the male cent central male figure after my grandfather passed away. Uh, my grandfather kind of tried um, to play the role of father, but he was, he was, he was a granddad. Uh, he was my Opie, that's uh, what I called him, and uh, he spoiled me to death. He really did. And he was such a sweetheart, and it was very sad when he passed away. And um, ironically, or I don't know, if, I don't know if irony is the right word, but um, my dad and my grandfather both passed away within a month of each other in the same year. So I lost both of them at the same time, even though I didn't know it at the time. 
Um, so it's kind of interesting that I lost my one father figure at the same time I actually lost my actual father. Um, it, it's just, it, it still strikes me to this day. It was such a bizarre thing that that, that would happen. But be that as it may, um, so I had a lovely, lovely dance with my uncle. Uh, and I, I apologize that the lighting in that video is was off. Uh, they decided to, to turn down the lights um, for mood effect. <laughs> and unfortunately, while this is a great camera, it, it's really not that fabulous in low light. Eh, most cameras aren't. Um, and I'm not about to go out and spend $1,500 on a really excellent camera, at least not yet. You know, if I if I earn that much money off of YouTube, which you know I'm not, you know I've, I've I think I've earned like five dollars on YouTube so far. So you know, um, if I'm not supposed to disclose that, whoops. <laughs> and and actually with uh, with with Google, uh, they don't even send you money until after you've earned at least a hundred dollars. So yeah, I'm not getting rich off of this, I can tell you. Anyway, um, so then after uh, the two um, scheduled dances, uh, we just kind of cranked uh, the, the music up and, and we just kind of had people come up to the dance floor. We danced. I danced for a while. Um, the only child that uh, came to the, the wedding was my uh, husband's cousin, cousin's daughter. So I guess the child would be... We kind of consider her a niece just because of the generation difference, but I guess technically she's like a cousin second removed, or I don't know how that all works, but uh, she's about two or three years old, and she was just running around, and she had this pretty little pink flower princess dress on, and yeah, she was hamming it up and just having a good time, which was which was a lot of fun, and I was, I was dancing with some of the other folks there, and... Um, <laughs> Dave's parents was were like, don't you have any old people music? <laughs> because all the music I had were basically eight, mostly 80s, some current pop songs. And, you know, I had, actually I had a couple of things from the 70s. I had some 70s, some 80s, um, some current, uh, maybe even some 90s, I'm not sure. Uh, but nothing from the 60s. And they were like, come on, you should have include old people music. <laughs> I thought that was funny. Um, anyway, and then after all the dancing and people slowly kind of started filtering out and going home or uh, they were getting tired and going up to their rooms for those who were staying at the hotel with us. And um, Dave and I then, we kind of gathered up the, the very last bits and pieces of things, brought it up to our room, and then we joined uh, friends of ours in the hotel lounge. Um, and we basically closed down the lounge. Uh, we were the last people there. Uh, last call was at midnight, and um, we actually finished off their last bottle of champagne. We'd, uh, they'd poured like a couple of glasses for us, and they still had like most of the bottle, and it would have gone flat by the next day. So they were like, hey, you want the rest of it for half price? We were like, sure, why not? So we, uh, so we did that, and I think we finally stumbled back up to our room at about one in the morning, and finally crashed in bed about two. Um, it took me quite a while to get all the pins out of my hair, and um, he wanted to take a shower before we went to sleep, and you know, just kind of gather our thoughts and everything before we before we crashed. And um, yeah, so anyway, so that was that was the reception day. The next morning, because um, we're at Embassy Suites, they have this free breakfast for people who stay at the hotel. So we just kind of wandered downstairs. We thought everyone had been up for hours and had already had their breakfast, and we ran into just about everybody who was staying at the hotel. So we had breakfast with folks, and that was kind of nice. And just the next several days, it was just like meeting with, hanging out with this family, hanging out with that family, uh, going to shoot pool here and party there and dinner at those folks' house, uh, homes or whatever. And um, so just lots and lots of that. So it took about a week for us to kind of wind down the entire reception thing. And uh, only now um, is life slowly but surely starting to get back to normal. All right, so as I said, this will be the very last video where I'm talking about the wedding stuff, I promise. Um, the next video uh, is very likely I'm going to talk about uh, the remodeling project uh, that we're doing. Um, it's kicking off on the 13th, and so um, I will probably try and film some footage of the kitchen just before we start the remodeling. 
um, and then maybe uh, try and film a little bit of footage or take still photos or something um, as it progresses um, and then you know I'll, I'll have an update will probably not be done yet <laughs> at the time that I do my next vlog but it will be kind of in progress and then the, the vlog after that will probably be done by then and I can I can kind of like it here's here's the here's what everything looks like now um, and so hopefully everything is gonna look fabulous and and we're kind of excited and looking forward to getting it finally getting it started and getting it finished because we've been planning this and, and, and working on trying to get it done for the last three or four months now and it's about time uh, that we get it started and get it done now um, and I may or may not plan an extra vlog um, sometime within the next two weeks um, as you've seen um, if you if you look at my channel that I've started doing um, let's play videos I've started with the Sims 3 and I'm gonna probably eventually also do other series. Um, I play World of Warcraft, Ion, Diablo 3, looking forward to SimCity when it comes out next year. So I'm gonna try and do more of that since I am a gamer and I know a lot of folks, um, I got a lot of folks subscribed to me after I did a couple of um, gaming vlogs. And so I figured I would uh, start kind of doing um, game specific um, videos on this channel. However, I've kind of run into a little bit of a copyright um, fight, if you will, with my Let's Play videos already, and it isn't what you think it would be. Um, it's, I'm not actually getting dinged from the game uh, manufacturer, the game maker, um, since it's The Sims 3, it would be EA Games, and, and EA Games is not giving me any trouble at, at, at all. It's another company entirely, and I will go into more detail in a completely separate video. Um, I'm still kind of doing my research and kind of trying to figure out exactly what's going on and why I'm having these issues. Uh, but once I kind of have uh, enough information, I'm definitely going to film a vlog and kind of, first of all, explain what's going on with that and then also kind of warn people about this particular company um, I won't name them right now, but um, I may uh, at the next video. I don't know yet, but um, just kind of warn people about this this practice because I think um, I think there's I honestly believe that there's copyright fraud going on, and I am uh, rather upset about it. But I need to do more research and kind of get my facts straight before I out and out accuse um, any company of that. So. With that being said, I think this is a long enough vlog. Until two weeks from now, bye.